Today I'm in the heads and mainly in the bit where the shower is going to be to do some tiling. Um, luckily I can sit down for that because my knee injury isn't quite healed yet but I could do bit by bit by bit so can't be doing nothing because that won't get it done. But um, I'll show you what I've been doing anyway. So here I am in the shower compartment doing some speed tiling in this little clip. Um, I'm putting the glue on the tiles. Normally you would put it on the wall and do one big surface. But I find that if I do it tile by tile, I've got a bit more control. It, it kind of takes the pressure off because it won't dry as quickly. I'm also using three millimeter tile spacers, which I put in sideways so I can pull them out quite easily. I'm never sure whether you're supposed to use them on the crosses as they are crosses and leave them in. But I prefer to take them out so I'm sure that the grout will go in the right thickness of the tile and gets everywhere. Make sure it sticks. I'm using shower proof tile glue as it is a shower and uh, we want to make sure it doesn't fall off the wall. I'm hoping there's not enough flex in the boat to actually ping tiles off, but then the bulk's heads, the bulk heads aren't connected to the hull, so there shouldn't be any movement anyway. But time will tell. As it is raining outside again today, even though it's August, I'm inside again and you saw me tile that wall, which is looking really good. So this morning I'm looking at doing the floor, which will also be tiled. I need to measure it out, get the spacing right, cut the tiles to length. So for cutting my t floor tiles, I'm using my trusty angle grinder with a um, diamond tipped blade or I don't know, that's what they call it. Anyway, you can see in the video that that goes through like a hot knife through butter. It's really good. I tried an ordinary cutting disc for metal, but you get black lines. Um, I can show you one of the red tiles that I cut with that. You see those black lines, not very even either. Whereas with this one, you get quite nice straight lines with it. So that's really good. I'm very happy with that and it makes the job a lot easier without having to cut um, to buy a proper tile cutter. To finish off today's episode, I'll show you the floor in the heads that I've put in. It's um, a wood grain effect tile, which will look really nice. I've done the frame for the locker where the wash basin is going to be sitting on. I've shown you the tiles before, but I'm just proud of how they look. Uh, I've done two wall panels on this wall. 
I'll have to show you next time because it's a bit difficult with the floor still drying. Um, and I'll be plodding on with doing the heads so that gets sorted. You saw in the previous video that I've put the door in, which we're getting close to the point that that can stay in. So this is starting to look good. And hopefully the weather will improve so I can do some stuff outside because I desperately want to do the the roof for the solar panels, but that will have to be another time. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next week. Bye.